Hi, this is Seth from New Mexico Reptile Rescue. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about African Emperor Scorpions, specifically providing the proper and essentially maintenance-free enclosure for them. This is known as a false bottom setup. Now, African Emperor Scorpions are native to both the savanna and the rainforest floor. I prefer a rainforest floor set up with mine. Taking a look at the bottom of the enclosure, you can see that we start with about an inch, inch and a half of washed aquarium gravel. That's followed by about an inch of potting soil. And the top layer substrate is composed of sphagnum moss, terrarium green moss, coconut fiber, and peat moss. One corner of the enclosure is reserved for a plastic tube. Now you can use any type of tube to do this. I had an old fish aquarium vacuum tube laying around the house that has a larger diameter on the top and a smaller diameter on the bottom allowing me to fill it relatively quickly and it also lets the water seep out slowly through the bottom in order not to destroy any of my layers or substrate. So to provide humidity all you have to do is take a cup of water pour it into your tube like so And as you can see, that'll slowly sink down to the bottom where it is wicked up by the substrate, providing ideal humidity. Now, I also wanted to talk a little bit about heating. I've never had good luck with heating lamps or lights, so I use a reptile heating pad affixed to the side of the enclosure. There are several reasons for it, but the main one being is that African emperor scorpions naturally burrow in the wild to become colder. and if you were to place this under the tank it would be unnatural to have a source of heat coming from the ground so we're in essence mimicking their uh, environment as best we can and with the several layers of substrate it allows them to thermoregulate a lot easier resulting in a happier and healthier animal uh, you may also want to consider putting in some type of flat surface to use as a cording stage. This will be discussed in an upcoming video, but uh, I used a river rock stone here. It uh, provides a flat area. Again, that'll be covered in an upcoming video. A shallow uh, water dish is utilized, but with this setup, it provides enough condensation on the sides of the enclosure that I've actually seen the scorpion drinking from the side rather than using his uh, water bowl. And depending upon the type of enclosure you have, you're always going to have some type of open space on the top. I deal with this by affixing a couple layers of thick milled plastic to cover any large open areas. You want to aim for 80 to 90 percent relative humidity with these species and this is an easy way to do it with both the false bottom and covering uh, anything that's left exposed. The last thing uh, I'd like to mention is that I've had really good luck with UV with non-UV lighting I'm sorry, with LED lighting. The LED lighting is it's more non-invasive than a UVB or natural light and with scorpions the only reason to have the light is to provide that uh, 
day and night cycle rhythm so I find that the LED light is really uh, more let's say less invasive than conventional lighting it's also uh, cheaper in the long run so consider that for your next setup they're really easy really cheap you can pick them up about anywhere and you can get them to fit about anywhere so that's a little bit on how to properly set up a maintenance free humid environment for an african emperor scorpion if you like this video please give me a like again this is seth from new mexico reptile rescue more to come. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you soon. Thanks.